In this video, we'll cover the structure of Sala Studios within Miro and highlight some important Miro features. So what is Miro? Miro provides an infinite canvas where we'll be collaborating for studios and potentially other classes as well. Unlimited area and nearly unlimited zoom gives you a massive space to play in. You can create shapes, draw, and upload files to a Miro board. All changes to a board will happen live, allowing you to interact with instructors and classmates in real time. This is the Good Time Space. This board will serve as the central hub to all of Sala. Here, you'll find links to all studio boards, info on upcoming events, and a variety of other resources. The link to the Good Times board will be accessible from the Sala website. The virtual Good Times space will function like our physical one. Studios will take turns decorating it and showcasing their work on a weekly basis. Events, reviews, and links to student groups are found under the bar. Studios have been arranged around the social Good Times space. Architecture studios are on the left, and Landscape Architecture, BDES, and End Studios are on the right. The thumbnails for each studio will give you a sneak peek of their studio board. Hitting the play button will allow you to move around a preview board. Clicking on the Miro logo in the top right corner will bring you directly to the studio board. Let's click on one now. This is a studio board. You'll be able to view all studio boards and leave comments, but you'll only be able to edit your own studio. Each prof is customizing their own board, so your studio may look completely different. Here, the studio has been divided into public and private space. The public side would serve as a place to review work, find assignments, and discuss anything studio related. The private side is a series of virtual desks. You will choose one for yourself and upload your work to it throughout the term. Uploading work is easy. Simply click on the upload button on the side and choose the file location. Miro has an upload size limit of 30 megabytes and a resolution limit of 32 megapixels. However, you can upload an unlimited number of files. Miro has a ton of ways of communicating ideas, including drawing, leaving comments, and placing sticky notes. You can also use Miro's chat, which lets you talk to your friends without disrupting the board. If you want to find a friend or track their movement, you can click on their icon in the upper right corner. This menu will show you who's in the board. If everyone's cursors are getting annoying, you can turn them off here. Your studio board is a place where you can ask for feedback on work, suggest precedents for your peers, and have fun with your friends. It's meant to provide an area for spontaneous interaction and free-flowing collaboration. While you'll be able to access your studio board through the good time space, you can also find it in your team dashboard. Each instructor will have their own team comprised of all their studio members. Here, you'll be able to view any board they create. If you opt to sign up for an educational license using a UBC email, you'll have your own team where you can create an unlimited number of personal boards. Thanks for watching. We hope you explore all that Miro has to offer.